10, 9, 8, Says seven, we're live. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I still don't see it. Hold the phone. <laughs> I'm waiting well, for you. Well, it says it's 14 seconds, 16 seconds. It says we're on. I know, but I have to wait for YouTube to catch up. There's such a, there it uh -huh. goes. There's such well, a lag. <clears throat> there it is. Okay. So, hello, everybody. We are the Mad Scientists. I'm Mad Frankie. This is Violet Igor over here. Over there. Woohoo. And together we are the Mad Scientists. Way. She's top more mad than me. Well, yeah. I, I'm the top mad. <laughs> Definitely. So we've got a few bits that we can add some colour to here. She's vanished. Vanished already. And this one, I just look at the back because you can see the colour that's left there. There's not a great deal of colour, but there is some. I was anxious to get onto the next thing at the time, so but we've got to decide what colour to put on there. So it's mostly <clears throat> mostly copper. And there's a little bit of red and things like that. So I don't know whether we should try something really dark. Well, it I might just in it all. my mind I went with the Titan buff. Yeah. Well, but okay. It's a bit light. I don't know. Maybe you wanted. Yeah. <clears throat> um. That's the. I light. haven't actually got Titan Buff in this high flow yet. I've got Titan Green Pale. No. It's on order. The Titan Puff. So, hmm. Puff Buff. <laughs> Titan Buff. I've got it in ordinary. I'm fairly sure I've got Titan Buff in ordinary, haven't I? Hi, Liz. Hi, Colleen. Hi, Jetta. And Liz, yes, Fran has all her lights on, and I don't know why she's very blue. We noticed that. It, it, she's, yeah, there's a blue tinge. Um, oh, dear. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's because of the plate reflecting back or if something changed on her Kindle because she's using a Kindle to stream. I don't know what it is today. It's just something something and i hope it doesn't bother y'all too much we'll, we'll do our best no. to show it hi lee the only titan buff i've got i think is in um is in uh one of the other one of the tubes it's a tuby one if it gets like really, really uh, annoying liz let us know and we'll we'll see what we can do hi trish welcome welcome um, Fran, how about I, I only I only suggested it. You don't have to go with it. Maybe you would rather go with a dark. Maybe you would rather go with Payne's gray or 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 um. Hmm. Yeah, Payne's gray might work. Um, I've got Payne's gray in it too. Because that's kind of darker than what you've got on the plate, but it's not like really black yeah. dark. Exactly. Payne's gray. Where it is silver? Paints grey. There we go. I've got paints grey. I could do that really thinly. See if that helps. And I know yeah. you have some. I know you have some of your own homemade paints grey. Yeah, I have that too. And one of them is quite thin, isn't it? Uh, Let's see. Just, just throwing things at you here. You, you decide. But just give me ideas. Well, I also want to try this stuff out. Of course you do. It's this yumpy stuff. So to do to do this pull, right? Well, no, I think I'll do this pull with uh, and the next pull with the uh, living because I know it works. And then we can try that other one out with any old other thing, you know? So well, I've got I here. Two. PG two, and I've got what else have I got? Four that you really liked. Yeah. Well, that's over there you know, on the on the top there. Where is it? Do for there. <laughs> <laughs> PG four is over here. I've got trans. Payne's Grey, that's PG1, and PG4 is Payne's Grey, Heavy Goat, Gelmac Golden, 
indenserine blue and mouse black. Okay. The pain's so gray making one. my food gray. Yeah. The and this is using impressed with, which is why you went on to two, three, four, and five, um, or four. Um, the four. Four. Yeah. Yeah, I think four. If you, if this one is two. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's the palest one. Perhaps I should go for the palest one. Well, I'm looking at them because you got the sheet behind you, so I'm looking at them trying. Mm. Okay, you decide. I can't because I think I, I think, think I would go with the light one. You, do you have enough Just in one? Do you have enough in that jar to yeah. for that big plate? Well, let's have a look. Let's open it up and have a look if I can. Hello, open it up. welcome, welcome. If I can't open this one up, I'd have to use another one, but I've opened it now. So I need a Hi, Abby. brush of my hand and I drop things left, right and center. I need this one. See, I've got a fair bit there. There you go. Oh, yeah, that looks That's good. Fine. Well, we'll see how it, it, see how it works. Out. Yeah, We'll see how it brayers out. Mm -hmm. we'll try it out let me remove this one because I shall need the brayer off sheet available have to move that out of the way Rose says hi Frankie hi 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 Rose so that's extremely light. I don't know whether it's going to work or not. It, it we'll hurriedly get a sheet of paper it out. It, it, mm. it is sprayed out. Yeah, it is light though, isn't it? That's what I mean. That's what I wanted, wasn't it? Okay. Good job. This way around. All right, and we'll set that one aside for a while. For everyone that's just coming in, this is the, the one that Fran did Friday that wasn't ready to be pulled, and she's pulling it now. Yeah. And then she has well, I put it, the color down to pull it later. Yeah. And we've got one to put at the moment. Yeah. Uh, but the other one we've got waiting to be pulled, uh, waiting to be set up for a pull, mm -hmm. and that's this one. Now, this one's got some rather good color on it, hasn't it? Yeah, I love that one. Oh, yeah. That one's got lots of lovely color on it. So what can I do on that that won't spoil it? Yeah. I mean, I could do the same again with a paint spray, but mm -hmm. maybe I should put something warmer on. How about putting a little bit of the quinacridone magenta on Hi, and going with that? Well, you know, it'd be wonderful. Anything you do would be wonderful if you let us see it. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Has it twinkled off? It I was thinking off. maybe the yellow and the Cronacodo magenta. I don't think I want to go as dark as the alizarin. Or Nicolazo yellow and the Cronacodo magenta. One Ooh. of those two. Oh. What do you think? Oh. I think that, that sort of um, orangey colour would go quite well with that. Yeah. I think. You don't want to hide, you don't, oh, but with the magenta, right? Yeah, with the magenta, either that or that. You're talking the two together. I'm going with the Indian yellow. Yeah, I like the Indian I'm, yellow. Yeah, I do too. It's not, yeah. I was just about to put it on there. It would be a help if I turned it over first. <laughs> there you go and, and then we'll see those um shove the plate because the feet the ducky feet and the owl feet are off there you go that's a bit better isn't it hi dana hi mariah if i didn't say hi mariah's on her phone typing she, she'll have to go get izzy soon uh-huh All right. 
it just seems so close to what's already down there that I just wasn't sure. So we'll see how you go. Well, too late. Yep, yeah, too late. Ooh. A little bit of fire. Yeah. To brighten things up a bit. I got to go check my tracking. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. I think that's pretty neat in color. So we'll get another sheet of that stuff. He's over there having lunch with one of the neighbors, I think. <laughs> Truck hasn't moved in a while. I'm getting some nice um, selling going on in the birds. I see that. Interesting. Hi, Paula. I hope you're feeling better. Yeah, I hope you're feeling better, Paula. It's also not feeling great. We got all kinds of uh, positive energy. We're sending out to Colleen and her husband and all his health care workers and to Trish and Paula. See, that's looking quite good, isn't it? Oh, that was I'm good. liking that. Good I think that was a good oh, That's nice. Well, if that works out, that would be lovely. I'll put that aside to dry as well. Yep, we'll come back and pull that in a bit. Pull this one now. This is the one that I put back down with the uh, gloss medium. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. On Friday, as yeah. well. it was all right, but the other side wasn't so good. I can't remember which side it was. I think it was the other side that wasn't so good, and I've got a torn piece of paper down in that corner. So that is dodgy, that bit. We'll have to be careful when we get to that. But I'm hoping using the gloss medium will thicken up the sheet a bit, you know, give it more strength. This now that it's the, complete. Is the living rice paper? Yeah. My goodness, it held up. For the most it's part. where the corner edges get yeah. uh, well down that you've got to be careful. Yep. Crack them. Got to crack a lack yep. Wow. You've got, yeah, you've got something like iridescent going on in there. Yep, that's that, uh, this one. Fluorescent violet, that was that. And that's what's caused some of the bluing, I think, with the greens. Cause bluing! Makes it sound like um, working with a I, I'm I'm chuckling blacksmith. Because, because you're pulling that print up, but underneath we're seeing your, your little sneak preview. The owls, on. yeah, I know. <laughs> That's next. <laughs> it's like, why why is it showing up on the plate? Oh, because you didn't use that. That's underneath the plate. <laughs> yeah. A little disorder. Yeah, this is all to be cracked. Then we've got that edge. Now I'm leaving this bit to last because it was the bit that was torn so that I've got a chance to yeah. deal with it, hopefully. Like that corner where it... it tore, yes. And I stuck it back down to itself with the gloss medium and then I went over the oh. over the plate with more medium. So I've got I've fixed the tear. <clears throat> that set it up. Same time. Yep. It's a coin. It's a little area over there. It it doesn't distract. Yeah. The entire thing. Well, it it would do a bit if it was if it was too visible. But there we go. So that's picked up a lot more of the stuff that was missing. <coughs> I'm quite pleased with that because it's right, rather a nice. Let's leave it leave effect. it down there and name off. Um, what did you use? Top left. <coughs> well, trying to remember after a weekend is, is not easy, but I know that the fluorescent violet was involved, as you can see. All right. <coughs> I should have been more. And I meant stencils. 
Oh, the stencils. Oh, okay. And I use the iridescent copper, and I think the rest of it is the remnants of the previous pull. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. The stencils are used. Was this was not a stencil. This was the um, big foamy stamp by Mar yep. Marilyn. Somebody. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> I can tell you right now, it was by Marilyn Kelly. Yeah? Yep. The Art Foamy Stencil. Yeah. And this is my Flying Saucers yep. stencil. My favorite. And that's my Pink Rings stencil, which I love. And yep. this is the outer part of the two alien plants, which goes this way up. <clears throat> okay. So we've got the one that looks like sort of a, a horn with lots of... Yep buttons to play on it and the one that looks a bit like well i don't know what really puffball <coughs> a bit like a puffball yep it, it gave some rather nice bits in the spaces there didn't it i rather like that that's good that i like that came out really so there nice. we go well done. we've had a, have a look at that Time to get on to the next thing. <clears throat> so we've got all these lovely bits here. And I'll explain what's going on. We've got the Member of Parliament Owl. You know that a collection of owls is called a Parliament of Owls. They're all roosting together. That's a Parliament of Owls. So he's got Parliament, Parliament Rules for Owls in a big book that he's clutching. And, and he's wearing his, his spectacles. And glasses on a chain. <clears throat> Pass nay on a chain. And I did with the other one. I cut another one and then chopped off the book so that uh, I chopped it off from this side because he's this way around. So I can use him that way around. See? So there we get there we've got him. And then there's the tutor owl. I like the him. Lecturer. <laughs> He's not bad. This is based on a snowy owl, a barn owl, because um, it's got these orange patches on the owl I was looking at and uh, all these sort of little round spaces on his wings. So we'll see how that turns out. Give him a mortarboard to show that he's definitely university grade. Colleen, that's exactly what I called him when she showed me. I said, owl professor. It's exactly owl professor, exactly. Yep. University professor, yeah. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to get into the Valentine's stencils that you cut out. Uh -huh. This is coming towards Valentine's. There are no hearts yet, but there was a heart on the uh, pipes, which is steampunky. And I have quite a lot of these. I went a bit nuts with these. I've cut two varieties, though. There's the ones with and without the eye sockets. I have to say. And they are meant. I, I, these I, are meant. I'm imagining you doing heart <clears throat> stencils, but see, they won't look like the traditional heart with, you know, the arched heart. You're more inclined to draw a heart with heart valves and and... Not necessarily. Not necessarily. I like ordinary hearts, but I like to grunge them up a bit. I know. <clears throat> and looking at the small owl from the one that was peering at the little birds. You know, this one I used the other day yep. that was peering at the little birds. They're going, what are you doing? And they're going, oh, big bird. Big bird. So <clears throat> he's sitting on top of that one, and he's sitting on top of that one. So there's. Uh, I've just been playing with them at the different uh, sizes and cutting the eye holes out. I'm not sure whether it would be with the eye holes or without the eye holes. You see, I was in the middle of cutting that one. <laughs> I just cut them on the machine and then went, oh, I think I'll cut that eye hole out. Colleen has a suggestion. So, yes. Well, you should make one of the skulls have heart-shaped eyes. Hmm, and, possibly, and I'm looking possibly. at them going, well, if you don't want to do heart-shaped eyes, just do the outline like you've got in your hand. But where that little piece is missing, make that the heart shape. What, that piece? No, in the eye. In oh, the that eye. piece. Yeah, you could yeah. do. 
You certainly could do, yeah. That's where the optic nerve goes, that is. Uh -huh. Just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> so we'll have a go with these and see what we can do. Might need a moon or two. I had a moon a moment ago before I cleared things off the desk. <laughs> So let's remove the black thing. It's only so that you can see. And um, we'll guess up that nice clean plate we've got down there. I think first we'll do the birds. Because I like my birds. I think they're lovely. And we'll put some... What colour should we use? We want some nice darkish colour. So we'll start with Payne's Grey, I think. With Payne's Grey. Clean Sorry, the top I, of this I, one. I, I went and cleaned all the tops. Sorry, I, I, what? I was sitting here talking to you and didn't realize I was mute because he got a call. Uh -huh. so, but anyway, Payne's Grey, good choice. Yeah, you could do, Colleen. I mean, that's always worth a try, isn't it, these things? I think I might add a little bit of the, just to see what happens when you add it to it, because I haven't tried it. I'll try a little bit of the fluorescent violet with the Payne's Grey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a fine test. Yeah. Got to try things. See what happens. I want to get rid of those, though push these back a bit so I've got room for braring and things. Hi Debbie. It's like a it's like a dreary Monday here. I don't know what it's like anywhere else but uh, here it is mid January and we're getting pouring down rain. Well we we've got horrible winds at the moment. It's just so so windy. Yeah, we had that a bit yesterday. Oh, you sent it to us, did you? Thanks very much. No, it, it's too, it, it'll be another. It wasn't that windy, but it was. We went on another road trip yesterday, went out eagle hunting and got some good pictures. And uh, at one point, we were standing on the side of the road by a lake, and it, there was a bit of a wind. My ears got cold because I didn't put a hat on. Silly me. I liked it when you put the birds on top of the skulls. Yeah. He's on top. Jetta wants to know how much longer do those paints need to dry versus regular golden? You mean the ones that she made herself? They're faster. Yeah. Oh, the ones I made myself? Oh, goodness knows. About the same, I'd say. I mean, I've not had any problem with that at all. I wanted a a moon. No, Colleen, I don't have to leave. I don't have to leave my house to go squirrel hunting. We've got a yard full of squirrels. Um, we went eagle <laughs> hunting. The eagles are coming back. Um, the rivers have been and lakes have been frozen, and now that we're seeing open water, the eagles are returning. And we saw. I couldn't count how many we saw yesterday. But at the same time, Russ couldn't get all the great pictures he would have loved to get because there was just no good viewing area to, um, they kept going behind the trees, down below behind the trees. And he just, they moved too fast. He couldn't, he couldn't get his camera focused. <clears throat> but he got some, what he did get. Was he using his camera? Yes. Lovely. Yeah, and he was he talking of getting a new body for me to go with the lenses I've just got. Oh, he got some great pictures, and on a number of them uh, were uh, eagles flying, soaring, so they weren't just sitting in trees or on the lake, whatever. Really nice. I think he's trying to get me to go out, you know. <laughs> well, yeah. That's what I told Russ. I said, it's one thing to have the camera. I said, but you're going to leave the house. We're going out. We're going to look for um, eagles to, to take pictures of. You're going to have that kind of camera. 
I'm not going to get a lot off this one, this first pull. What? What's but I, think that's it. I heard you. Yeah, he's mumbling. He's behind me. Sit behind me, mumbling something. Ah. Like a five-year-old. Ha ha ha. And I say that we're going out because eagles are see. Oh, eagles are see. bird. It's a lovely color. I like the color. I wish you could have done registration on that one. Well, tough. Well, too bad for me, huh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> too late now. <laughs> Are you still using Payne's Gray? Yep. And which one is that? That's not golden, is it? Yep. Okay. It's the golden hyper. Oops. It's going everywhere, but on the plate. Um, I think it's coming up at the top. I'm going to have to... Scrape away so we can get a bit more out. There we go. With any luck, that should work. Hold on, Deb, Debbie. Um, let me see. And I think I'm going to go. With the Nicolazo yellow. <clears throat> Isn't it? I wonder if Mariah is still here. Um, I thought it was in PM Artist Studio blog where where I uh, posted her mixes or her paints. It's in the shop. It's in the shop. Okay. Thanks. I'm pretty sure it's in the shop. It's a free download. Yeah. Oh, exactly. look at the mud on this. <laughs> Dark and murky. It's an Edgar Allan Poe night. All Lovely. right. Let's get real specific here. Um, it's definitely I'm Edgar Allan Poe. Because Debbie says, how did you make your paint, your paints gray paint, please? Um she, this, that, and the other thing is her. <laughs> I have I'm, the recipe on the side of the jar. Hang on. That paint yeah. gray I've just used, yeah, not mine. It's a high flow from Golden. That's what that is. Yeah. But my own recipes are the one I used was um, some. There's this the one, one Debbie. PG1. Maybe. And it is uh, Payne's Gray, two peas. Uh, eight teaspoons of matte gel and five drops of retarder. Now, when I was doing that, two peas, you imagine a little pea, you know, it's about the size of that little fingernail. Yep. Right. Two of them. And uh, the eight teaspoons, around about eight teaspoons. It looked like eight teaspoons as I was putting it down. And five drops because the retarder I was using was a liquid retarder, yep. not one that comes out of a tube. So. There you go. Yep. So I just went. One, two, three, four, five. Gonna get a bit more color off this one. I posted a link to to uh, Patricia's guide for making some of her mixes. Um, I'll just pull my sleeves up. I don't want to get too much paint on my clothing. So you could you could also use. Uh, cost wise, if it were an issue, Debbie, you could also use the Amsterdam. Um, yeah, the Amsterdam is perfectly decent. So is something like um, uh, Thingamese, uh -huh. the Liquitex. You can use the Liquitex. Yes. Yeah, yeah. uh, you can even use folk art if you want to. If you can get folk art, that's yeah. fine as well. It's a different learning process because the texture of the paint is a different consistency. I use the high flow because I like the way it gives me um, selling occasionally. It won't give me it here. No. Hi, Mary. 
And it depends on what you want, Debbie. It depends on what you want, how you want it to look. But if you want to play mad scientist, um, look at... It doesn't at... matter how you want to look if you want to play mad scientist. You just splash wow. away and see what happens. <laughs> the color on that is gorgeous. Wow. I love it. I've got some nice black detailing on the raven. Isn't that gorgeous? I like that. It's a very murky sort of day there. Very Edgar Allan Poe-ish. Very much. That's nice. I like it. So that was the Payne's Grey, the Nicolazo Yellow, and the Fluorescent Violet. So let's try again. This time I'm going to put them down in a different order. I'm going to put the Nicolazo Yellow on first. Right. Right, Paula. And I'm going to put the fluorescent violet next. I love Amsterdam. I can't quite afford golden. The Amsterdam I, is a very nice paint. It really yeah, is. Yeah, I have so fallen I've in love with that. Bit of paint spray, but not a lot. I don't in think some places. Say that again. I'm sorry. I'm just putting the, the paint spray down in some places and not in others. So trying to be a bit more abstemious with it. We'll see what happens. Wow. Wow. More like a streaky sky this time. You were doing it like that. That last planet time. is moving around. <laughs> Saturn is moving. Mm -hmm. That's Saturn because I couldn't immediately put my hands on a one of um, P and M's moons. I would have liked the P and M moon. It must be around somewhere. Never mind. Too late now. I was trying to find. Oh, here we go. The um, these are the little jars that Fran used to mix her paints in. Well, she mixes actually yeah. mixes her paint on a glass, a sheet of glass because it she can mix it better. And then she puts it in jars and puts the label on it with how much she used of each. And I got. A and if you find. If you can find the um, correct stream where I, I mixed some, then uh, you'll be able to see what it looks like when I was mixing. Yeah, exactly. Right. You, you did do a stream on it. Yeah. And I was going to say, if you, we found these jars. We got these. Uh, they're they're uh, plastic. They're not glass. But we found these on Amazon. Uh -huh. I think there were twenty four in a pack. Yep, something like that. Yep, something like that. And I love them. I mean, they're handy dandy. I've got staples. They can them. use them for all sorts of things. I've even got my painted treasures in one of them. Yep, I've got this one. I've got uh, used staples. I'm taking magazines apart for images, and I'm using keeping the staples because I'm hoping they'll rusty. Yeah, and I've got a large one that um, I can't remember what came in it. I think it was um, light and fluffy. Used it all up. Used it for some little copper pieces. I'm so playing with copper. I um, I just couldn't remember where the the, uh, the uh, mixing guide was, and Fran remembered it was in the shop, not in the blog. That's why I said I I go explore the shop for the other stuff, and the, I read the blog. Oh, yay. Orders have been coming in. Yay. Should we enable somebody today? There we go. Oh, I have got a new magazine to show you. Oh. Where, where's, that's rather nice. That's rather nice. Yes. I, like that. I like that. But I think we'll leave the panes gray for now because it's, it's making it quite murky. Which is what I actually wanted, but uh, I'll try for something a bit lighter now. That oh. lightened it up a bit, didn't it? 
Martin what Luther else? Can we... It's Martin Luther King's birthday. It's Martin Luther King's day here. All right. So it's a holiday. There's no, it's not a holiday for everyone. Uh, Russ still has to work. So it's not necessarily um, a holiday for every company. Although so, it is for government. So um, Miriam is asking, what is MLK? Martin is that Luther what King. MLK means, Martin Luther King Day? Ah, oh, right. Gotcha. Yep. My lucky kindergarten or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about anything else, but you're really building up those stencil colors. Uh -huh. <clears throat> you're breaking them in. Oh, wow. That was uh, copper, and this is turquoise salo. And I want to add a little bit of this, which is the Titan Green Pale. I just love the Titan Green Pale for some reason. Yep. I just yep. I can't stop using it. I agree, yeah. Just getting a little bit off the top that we don't need. So that it can blue pull over my finger. Wow. Sometimes you put so much paint on the gel plate. It's like you're doing a paint pour. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see what we get with this. Um, this is going to be light, but I think it's still going to have that sort of spookiness to it. I was just thinking I want to see some teal with those birds. And this is this this will do. This is teal. Yeah. Well, I was obviously thinking much the same. <laughs> I might do another version of the Parliament Owl with bigger areas because it is kind of difficult to get those areas to fill. Yeah, I noticed that. I am getting it there, but you've got to be more serious about it and push it in so maybe half of what you've got there yeah maybe but i do like it it always almost looks like filigree i do like the effect so i'm going to keep him anyway <clears throat> this guy better be done with his line while we're here let's have a go not moving with this new stuff. I'll show you what it is in a minute. Did you say it's quite a strong feeling? Did you save the packaging from it so we can actually yeah. see what the package there you go? Here I on. did. I did. It's right up above me. <clears throat> it's up here. It is. Fujigami. Fujigami. Okay. Have what you it used is? it? Is this the first time you're using it? First uh, time. Let's see. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah. Paula says he needs to fluff out his feathers in a pompous manner. Mm -hmm. oh, he's much too dignified to do fluffing. Maybe he'll get his little son to do that. <laughs> Well, we were referencing, she's referencing, I think, that you need to make those feather bits. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know, I know. I was just trying to be funny. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I see. Put right over my head. <laughs> <laughs> I said I wanted to keep him, you see, because I like him, even though it's hard to get paint in the those areas. We'll see how the next one turns out anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is working nicely. <clears throat> now oh, I don't know whether this is the kind that will stay on the plate and not tear or not. It feels quite strong. It feels almost like two, two twice as thick as the uh, living. But that's quite nice, isn't it? I like that. Hello. Yeah. Nice. I mean, even with the small pieces, small feather 
outlines, you still get nice definition on your paper. You do, yeah. I'm pretty, I'm pretty keen on that. I mean, I'm not getting a lot of. Uh, I deliberately push more paint in here, and I've got yeah. some nice, nice definition. I'm quite liking it. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're losing. We lose the eyes. So, hmm. Yeah. On the owls. Yeah, the eyes get kind of lost, or maybe you didn't push down. Uh, if you look at it, the, the eyes are not so bad on here. They're lost a bit on this one, yeah, which is the same. Professor. But you can go over it with something and bring it out. Well, that's true. It's impossible. I mean, you can see it in person, but it's hard to sort of for it to make the impression it should. So maybe just um, making the eyes a bit bigger would be helpful as well. That's a possibility. You'll play with it. This eye is, is about the same size as that eye. It's just a question of what comes out and what doesn't. Anyway, let's try some more colours. So we do a bit of Conecodo magenta. Okay, she'll come back. Paula needs to see that paper again so she can look it up. It's Shuji Sami. Here we are. No, not sushi. <laughs> Shuji. Shuji. Shuji Gami. Shujigami. I'm going for it. Let Come on. And I cut some ready so so as to have pieces. It's 18 inches by 30 feet. There's quite a bit. I got it on Amazon UK. Right. They're not Shujigami. Shujigami. Oop. Throw that away, didn't I? All right. And some Nicolazo yellow. I just want to get some oranges going. Why does it keep changing it to Shuji? Shoji. It's Shuji Gami. That's what I it know. says on there. I'm sorry, but that's what no, it says. I, but every time I put it in a search, it brings up Shoji Gami. Well, or maybe that's another way of spelling it. Sometimes. That's not nice. Sometimes it comes like that, doesn't it? I'll put a tiniest bit of Titan green pale on there. Found it. Not a lot. Not available. Oh. It it again, um, to when you when you're not busy, again, it comes up as it's a Yasu Tomo brand. Well, I'll see if I can find the link afterwards. It's right. fairly recent, so I shouldn't have too much trouble finding the link. Yeah. We, for some reason, I'm not Let getting it. Uh, grab another sheet of it. Found it, oh, but I'm not finding it. I only cut four pieces of this to be ready. Again, it's got a smooth side. And a rougher side. The rougher side I'm keeping upwards. No particular reason. I just do it that way. The rougher side you're keeping up? Yep, it's this side I'm touching. So the smooth side has gone down. <clears throat> Let's get the eyes. Try to get the glasses. I also wanted to have a go with um, some other techniques than just gel printing because of what I called this stream. <coughs> maculations. I was going to say maculations. Yep. I think I've, uh, it's the one I think it is. You look up macu maculate and see what it says. I think it means spots and splashes. If I get porn coming up, I'm going <laughs> to. Well, don't forget, you might get something about the eye coming up because macular de degeneration is an eye disease. There you go. So Mark hmm. with the spot or spots stain, maculating. Well, I've got spots here anyway, haven't I? 
<laughs> so we're getting them anyway. It's the state of being spotted. So it's what happens to Dalmatians as they grow. They maculate. Uh-huh. And it's what you get when you get your high flow to give you selling. But to do that, you've got to leave it on the plate a little while to do its work. There you go. Thank you. Um, thank you, Liz. Different I'm going brand. to add some turquoise. Okay, it's, it's by oh, oh, Ayato. All right. Go Sumi E calligraphy. Sumi E and calligraphy art paper. I, I tow a company. Yep. A I T O H. Yep. Thank you, Liz. That's the one Liz found. Not that's not a bad uh, price. It's Kozo, Kozo paper, from what I'm reading. Is it? Yeah. It. it well, I don't think it says anything about that on that one. I don't remember seeing that on it. Kozo. Yeah. No, I didn't mention that. I wonder what Kozo paper is. It's calligraphy type yeah. paper. Just well, all rice paper seems to be designated uh, as calligraphy. Type. Yeah, it's a rice paper. Right, I'm going to leave that for a bit. See if it will do anything. I'm liking this paper, though. I haven't left it on for a long time. But then I can't yet. Because I haven't taken these pieces off. Not getting a lot of... Um, Maculations going on. Can I make the part larger? Oh, um, no, I cannot. That would be specific to you, Trish. That would be something you have to do um, in your settings. If if it's able to be done that was that's something you specifically would have to do and because i don't know if you're watching via a computer a kindle a laptop or a phone or other device it will present itself differently if if i make the, if i could make the print large it might make my picture smaller does that make sense yeah. or it will end up putting the chat too large for somebody else to see on their screen. So I think it's better yeah. if it's done by the person well, concerned. I, anyway, we don't control YouTube controls that as far as yeah. that goes. But if you're on a device that where you can control your font size, that's where you would go. And if you want something, yeah, Trish, if you want something particular, if you want me to copy what Liz posted there and send it to you in Messenger, I can do that. I, I like that. That's nice. Very, That's really nice. Very, you know what? That would have been really good with some magenta or a red. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. The magenta up there would be yeah, nice yeah. if it could over more. Yeah. Well, just, I'm thinking time to lift this up you think you think they're done yeah well i think that one is yeah it's not it that's closer to goose turd green in yeah. <laughs> Ooh, he's nice he's oh, lovely oh now he you threw that out. purple in with that you threw that purple in the violet in with that earlier yeah that's yeah. really nice. Oh, I have to make my screen big so I can see this. 
back out of chat. Ooh. Oh, you got a streak on your on your uh, pyramid owl. How do yeah. you know? Do you know? Yeah. Something that's probably like it was braided like that. Yep, could be. Wow. Little owl. Little owl's good. I like that violet in there. Yes. It's not bad, is it? Oh, look at that under there. <laughs> that is looking nice. There we go. That can be put away to dry for a while. Now that's going to be quite pleasant, I think. It might work with something like copper over it, maybe. Or the bronze. The bronze might be rather nice. The high flare bronze. Yeah, that might be rather good. Oh, I think that would go quite well. Remind me, I said I thought the bronze would work well. So that won't take too long to dry. We're only waiting on this bit and these bits here because the rest of it i think is pretty dry already almost but that's quite thick there because if you remember the saturn was moving about a bit so it got more underneath it shall we see if this is dry It's not dry. No. Not dry. No, I'm going to have to put some more stuff down on that, I think. So I think we'll leave the other one as well. And we'll go on to the smaller plate. Because I've got that plate. Wow. So, so that bowl of shushigami that, that uh, Liz posted is 18 inches by 30 feet for 15. That's the one. Yep. That's pretty. That's pretty, I think that's all right price. That's acceptable. I'm going to put it in my wish list. My wish list is getting smaller, but still too big. Um, <laughs> and while I'm thinking of it, nori paste. Is nori paste like yes paste? I don't know. I've not come across it. But nori is a seaweed. That's the only thing I know about that. Hmm. Natural slow drying starch adhesive. Slow drying will not soak through fabric. That's what I like because I get tired of my glue. I grab the wrong glue and it goes right through my fabric. Okay, let's get out of there. Let me grab a few of these. Rabbit hole, rabbit hole. While she's off and away, everybody wants to see what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. I'm doodling. I'm doodling uh -huh. and coloring. Oh, your bath? Okay, never mind. No, I'm not away. I'm fine. You carry on. See, I'm doodling and, and coloring flowers. Ooh, on oh, lovely. On envelopes so that if I ever have to mail anything besides bills, which most of them get done online, but... When I mail stuff, it you goes... put the address on the other side then. Sure. Brilliant idea. Well, yeah. actually, um, I'm not going to show you my address, but I actually have my address here on this side. I didn't think about it, and I covered this up. This is where the stamp would go, and the other address would go here. Uh -huh. So, in this case, I did it upside down because there is the envelope open, and I did it upside down. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter. Post office doesn't care. They they just need to see the address it goes to, the stamp is correct, and run it through the machine. So, but yeah, I I doodle a lot of these just weird shapes. I call them flowers, and it's my envelope garden. I love them. I absolutely love those. And just get weird. So I have a stack of envelopes, and I have. Just do different doodles like this one is just I was looking at I had a band-aid on my finger and I looked at it and drew a band-aid and then I drew a band-aid across it. Oh. 
So that's all that is. And then this the one, I, I, uh, um, um, I tat, I do tatting. So I call this one my, my tat drawing. It's just lines with loops, whatever. Decorates it. When I'm when I'm uh, uh, ruminating on something, you know what that is, right? When I'm ruminating, yeah. that's one of them big words that you like. <laughs> yeah, I like big words. Of course, I like quite small words as well. Yeah, like go. Me is a nice. Yeah, me, go, stop, out, lay, sit. <laughs> if. Yeah. I, no, don't, that's like, I don't do if a lot. I don't like the, Russ, Russ likes to play what if. Well, what if we did this or what if we did that? You know, either do it or don't do it. But what if it has too many possibilities? That's a rabbit hole I don't like going down. Just doodle and color gel pens and and markers and whatever you've got doodle and color and then send somebody a pretty happy mail okay back to you master i'm going to use my new alien i haven't used him yet i'm going to use him Because I want to. <clears throat> Does he have five legs? Yep. Or four well, legs? Five limbs. He's got um he's got five limbs. Yeah, oh, five limbs. Him. That that's better. Yeah. Got some selling going on there. Yes, you do, and I like it. And I like how much you got on that smaller plate, too. Just about. <laughs> if you look around the owl, you can actually see the, the the hazing going on around him, the shadowing, you know? Yeah. No, that's because I moved him. Oh. Because I wanted to see his hand, at least in the oh. next print, if not. Well, so actually your alien monster pushed your owl over. Yep, he did. <laughs> he said, get out of the way. I can do registration on this one. Okay, Mariah. Yeah, th those aren't well seasoned yet, though. But you'll get a not print. Very. No, but you'll still get a print. Might get him up. It's quite a nice sort of selling going on there. It won't be perfect, but it's something. I, I, thought you were do I, I, I thought you were going to do registration, but you really didn't get, yeah. And I did do registration, well, but. With another yeah. color. Oh, with another color. Oh, sorry. Too late now. Too late. <laughs> too late. Too late. If I cut this in file, let's do it. Yes, it will. I'll cut these in file. Fran, I'm not happy. Why? My delivery hasn't moved in over an hour. Eh, he's definitely doing something naughty with that neighbor of yours. Right? That's what happened with the golf club. Liquor. My deliverer hard. went to the golf club and I never saw him again for hours. Yeah, we're right past your house. Paula has glue liquors. Oh, yes. Oh, I know what you mean now, Paula. Yes, children, if they lick glue, if you make your own glue with the wheat, the wheat paste glue, whatever, uh, yeah, then it's 
less, yeah, much less toxic. Right, I think this is the new plate, looking at it. It's looking so unstained and perfect. This is my new plate. Well, let's get it so, filthy. let's have a... Oh. Let's get it filthy. Yep, let's get it filthy. Dog hair. Don't forget the dog hair. Well, I'm sorry, but the dog is locked out for now. <laughs> <laughs> Permanent violet dark. That will make that lighter. And we all have to thank Ian today because Friday when Fran had her uh, headphone craft avalanche, avalanche um, yeah. you bet she bent the prong that inserts into the, the Kindle. The microphone jack. The yeah. microphone jack, thank you. And um, I think Ian tried to straighten it. Yeah, he did straighten it, but it but didn't it, help so, much because. Yeah. 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 So Ian, bless his heart, is home today, but he, and he has a, a headset that he uses for his gaming, and he is loaning it to Fran tonight, her tonight, um, so that she could be on here comfortably with us. So thank you, Ian. We appreciate it. He'll appreciate that. Yeah. With, without the headset, we get a horrible, horrible echo, so... Um, as he said himself, he is a keeper. Oh, he is, yes, definitely. Yep, he's a keeper. He had to sort of remind me, I'm a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, we appreciate it because you would have been truly annoyed having to jiggle that plug all throughout, in and out. And we talk over each other enough as it is. So this is very helpful, Ian. Thank you. You need to put the little guy down first, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, that's no, too late now, isn't it? So. Too late. It's got to separate out these papers. They don't seem to like being separate. They like being together. By the way, I happen to see P do that. That's a P technique. Not doing this. Pound the plate. Yeah. Works well. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the definition on that owl? Where's the eye definition? Am I not seeing it? Yeah. There. No, it's oh there a little bit, yeah. You just gotta work your finger in there, that's all. Yeah. Get his teeth. Come on, get your teeth out. Right, before it starts tearing, seem to want to. Do you want me to do definition again, uh, uh, registration again, or? Yes, please. Can you do that? Can you put another color down? Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh. That's not so much on that one or on that one, oh, but on that okay. one there was. If you don't want it that's too heavy, otherwise it's... Before. Yeah, it blends in too much. See, that one I paint on before. Yeah, that's good. Let's see what they come up with. I might have to leave it a little bit. Get that swirly, swirly. I yeah. think the um, lines in the skull need to be a bit broader. And I'm sure Mariah would say that anyway. I've already made them broader once. I think they need to be even broader to pick up that detail. 
Let's say Aunt Berry. Yeah. Just put it in silhouette and hit the line width. It'll increase it all. Uh huh. Well, I can try that. Anywhere That's you not find, bad. It'll click. That's it'll, not bad. At all. Yeah, you're right. But though the skeleton, the skulls didn't get the the definition you want. Well, I am using ones that um, don't have the eye sockets, so using the ones with the eye sockets might be better. That's why I cut those out to be trying that out. She's still here. She's in the background working, of course. Never ending. I had another one. Where's it gone? Ah, come on. Where's my other skull? There we are. That one hasn't got it open either. Yeah, it should be not, one with an open one. The, on that one that's on the plate, you don't see the, um, the teeth definition or the uh, cracked skull. I like a cracked skull. Yeah. Yeah, I like the cranium with the lines in it. Mm -hmm. I just had a medical, I had one of my there. books. I don't know where it went. I had one of my big anatomy books I was going through the other day. I got rid of yeah. most of my medical books that I worked with, but this was an anatomy book and I really liked it. There you go. Oh, there you put Steve the little guy down. Yeah. Of course, you could go really nuts and have a little chick on a skull. <clears throat> With no problem at all. And obviously the raven is teaching the little chick what to do. <laughs> you sit on the skull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's have a go with that. Move these back out of the way so I've got my brayer off sheet available. And we'll go with, I like that one actually. And that one, that's the cobalt turquoise. Nice. And let's try the pearlescent, iridescent pearl. <clears throat> These are colors I like using anyway, so they're coming up with a challenge, you know, it's like, <laughs> lovely. My kind of colors because I haven't done anything with it, so I haven't really done anything for the challenge as such. I've only used the colors on the plate, which is nothing really, is it? It's not very challenging, not for me anyway. What's more challenging is using mud. <laughs> well, I think I don't know about anybody else, but I think I know how to use mud, mud pack. <laughs> Not my first rodeo with mud. That, that's the one little chick. Why I like, one of the reasons why I like Graphics Fairy, the Graphics Fairy membership, is because I'm learning how to, um, well, right now, collage is my idea, is not just watching someone do it, but I'm learning how to place things and using their examples and their pieces. And it's kind of like when I was trying to figure out what paints go with what paints to where you don't get mud, but you get, but you're still like you off away from the color wheel, but it's still not mud. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what kind I, of, yeah. Yeah. And it, and it, I had to watch P and U and read P's notes. I mean, I've got copies of P's notes of putting things together and the color wheel and everything. Um, try and learn it. Don't know if it's retained or if it's stuck, but I, I really worked on learning it and getting it in my head. 
and not letting other things like, well, what if this, and what if that? And I'm doing the same now with collaging because I don't, I love collage. I love what I see and I can dissect it, but putting it together myself is a whole other. Um, it is. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I love Froyle's collage art and I just cannot get anything that looks as gives me the same feeling myself, you know? Yeah. And so, Froyle's, oh, and I look at mine and go, eh. <laughs> well, in the, everything I've done in my life has been self-taught. So it's trial and error. I did it. It worked. I liked it. Yeah. It worked. But now I want a little more uh, knowledge and education to um, stretch a bit. Yeah. Formal, formal education, which is gratefully what I get from Patricia and Mariah and you, <laughs> actually. Um, and that's what gra the graphics fairy lets me do. It lets me actually practice doing the collages they've done or they show how to do. I can use my own images or theirs, but it's given me an idea of, of working through the process. Oh, yeah, okay, place that there. Okay, place that there. Um, I don't know. It, it's a little more, instead of random, it's a little more precise, I guess. I don't know. It's working. I think, yeah. I think it's working. getting getting a little bit of knowledge in uh, instead of just doing it by accident. Yeah. Yeah, and then not knowing how I did it or got it or whatever, and I feel like I'm. But I, I think that's why I like gel plating so much, because I find it, I get more. Oh, that's lovely, than I do hmm, when I do the gel plating, and I've discovered that occasionally I can reproduce what made it go. Ooh, like so that is nice. Friday. Yeah, like you did Friday, but you've had yeah. it. It's stuffed. I don't remember what was making the effect because on Friday, what was happening was it wasn't just the colors I just put down for that pull, it was what was still on the plate from the previous pull and might even be on the brayer. Yeah, so it all has an effect. It's kind of like, um, not just doing it. It comes along with experience too. Just keep going at yes. it. Don't well, give that's up. why I like gel plating because keeping on doing it, you remember what happened a bit yesterday, although my memory is, is shut to thank God for uh, videos, huh? Nice. Ooh, I love that. Ooh, 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 I love that. Uh, the effect on the skull, actually. That's nice, very nice. And I've still got the print down there if I wanted to try and pull it up. Might do that. Let's well, see how much it is there. Let's turn it over and have a look. I'm, I'm not as good as Van Gogh, but uh, I, I love Van Gogh, and I look at what he did in his younger years as opposed to his later years, and he just improved. So I figure just keep trying at it and going for what you want to go for. But the other thing is, is mm -hmm. his mental health deteriorated. So I don't know if that's... Yeah. He kept going at it, and should I be concerned for my own mental health? Too late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too late. <laughs> yeah. But I so I'm thinking about this, and that is really pale. So I'm going to need something really pale to pick it up at all, I think. And I think my best bet is probably... High flow? Yeah, but um, the particular color I'm looking for is not here. Why is it not here? I thought I brought it out. Oh, there it is. Transparent red iron oxide because it's got the transparency to allow us to see that, I hope. Let's see what happens. It might just be too strong. That might just be too pale to come out on anything, but we'll try. Okay. And Paula would like to know the number of the golden iridescent violet. Just a minute. Ooh. The fluorescent violet. The fl yeah, it's fluorescent. Sorry. It is fluorescent. In a moment. I said iridescent earlier. Before I do anything at all. Because I want There we are. Right. Right. The violet. <clears throat> it's fluorescent violet. And the number is 8507-4, series 5. Did you get that, Paula? 8507-4. Eight five zero seven dash four. Okay, and I've got the four fluid ounce one, but you can get it in the smaller. I think most of them come in the smaller ones. 
and it comes up as completely transparent, which is good. <coughs> like the transparent red iron oxide. Same level of transparency, according to them. Now let's have a little look at the other side. Well, we're going to get something, but as I thought, it is so pale. But I've got some nice selling going on. Hasn't brought a lot of it up. I maybe should have left it down. But it's quite interesting. <clears throat> it's a lovely down thing. When you hold it to the light, you can see the raven there and the skull. Or I can. I don't know if you can, but I can. I like it. It's a nice piece of collage paper, I think. It is lovely, isn't it? I, yeah. I like that one. Yes. The red, the red iron was, was a good call. Yeah. Well, I think I can uh, do a bit more. <clears throat> what about some diarylide yellow and some alizarin crimson? I think that would be nice. Leather. It did look a little bit like leather, didn't it? Miriam said mm. leather. Okay. Yep, it did look a little bit like yeah, uh, leather. And there's rin. Oh, he's just... Right, I've got that all over my clothes. There we are. Let's see what we get now. Well, there's a dog here joining in. Ha, ha, ha. Still joining in. Can't seem to pick that one up. That's better. Oh, no, there's another one. Lovely. Right. Put the big one down there. Yes, put him down there. I think that one is a better size for the little chick to be sitting on. Well, that looks a little better. Big... If you're going to put the little guy down, get him down first. It's too small. The crow oh, is better. Oh, the crow is also on one. And he's telling the little one, this is how you do it. Okay, that's how <laughs> I do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Saturn is low in the sky today. <laughs> I've noticed that uh, I seem to push this down this way across. That's because that's where the fold is from the paper, the way the paper was packed and sent. And I'm trying to get the, the biggest bit down first and then push the fold out. Yeah. And it works. It works pretty good that way. Miriam says the value of your prints went up because of the dog's hair. Okay. <laughs> Jada has to go. Bye, Jada. Have a oh, good my Thanks for popping by. Hope you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Get your fingers down in there. Yeah. It dries. That's, you can see that it dries really fast, this stuff. So if I want to have more time, I would use different paints. 
more like a heavy body. But I do like the immediacy of the high flow because it means you can get more prints out in one session. So you've got to have the energy to do that and it does make your back ache a bit. Ooh. Do you want me to register? Or build up? Register or build up? Make a decision. Quick. I don't know. Build up. I, I'm looking at build up. I like that. Build up. Leave that okay. down. I like I like those. Build it up. I okay, say. we'll do that then. Yeah, build it up. I'm just picking up colors randomly. This is yep. permanent violet dark. And what shall I have with it? Well, and, and here's the thing. You already know when you pick up colors randomly, you know you're mixing high flow with heavy body. Yeah. You know where you're going. No, no I'm, mi no, I'm mixing high flow with high flow. If I mix high flow with heavy body, I get patches where the heavy body has been that doesn't come up so quickly. See? That's what I'm saying. And that comes from knowledge and experience. Doing it. <laughs> Doing it. Going, oh. Do it. <laughs> yeah, do it. And then you go, oh, I didn't, I didn't know it was going to do that. Well, I know that now. But if you know, the thing is, is education will teach you what high flow is and what uh, heavy body is, and the process will teach you, do you want to mix them? Does that make sense? Yes. If yes. you know what each of them will do, then you'll know what each of them will do together. And you'll know yeah. that's the why the print didn't turn out the way it, you wanted it. Yes. Yeah. But, but some people know this from being told it. And some people only really learn it, like me, from doing it. I've never been, I never pay much attention to the information. I'm the person everybody says RTFM to, because <laughs> I don't. It's boring. It's much more fun to play and, and get the results and then go, ah, oh, I didn't like it when I did that. Oh, I liked it when I did this. I'll do that again. You know, much more exciting. Experience. That's just See how fun nice learning. They come out? Look at that. I'm glad I said that. Build up layers. Very I'm glad nice. You said that. Yeah. It's only the first one that doesn't come out so good. You know, I mean, it's there. You can see the, the outline shapes and some of the impression. But yeah, you get more interest on the next pull. Lovely, lovely colors. Let's do that again. Let's do it again. And I think with this one, I will do this one. Because I do like that. That's why we're going to put your link in here, Miriam. There's Miriam? a link to Miriam's page, and tomorrow she will teach art. Oh. And that's all I know, because that's all she said. Uh -huh. She didn't say what art she's going to teach. That's all right. I'll learn. I like watching Miriam. I learn stuff. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen Miriam in a while. I ought to go and have a look. Yeah, you need to get out. Well, you've been busy. But you need to get over there. Yep. Certainly do. I've gotten to where um, I don't get to watch much anymore until late at night if I can stay awake. Oh, in Zoom and spent. Well, you want me to delete the link there then? <laughs> no, I'm not deleting the link. Any your your YouTube it's channel. Funny. Or, I don't think I can learn much in Spanish. I mean, I say I don't listen to what people say, but <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I know high school Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. I yeah. Yeah, I can probably do some numbers. That's about it. I know more French than I do Spanish. And even then, I wasn't doing arts uh, French, so I don't know any. Uh, I don't know what this is or, or what high flow is in French or, you know. Don't know. That's looking quite nice. There you go. Watch mm. her. She'll, she'll do the same on her channel, 
Thursday in English. So watch for that. Thursday is the one I want. Yes. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's, not That's not bad. There you go. Clear. On the dark side. Get lighter. Ah, oh, that's an idea. Let's do this. Where'd you go? I didn't go anywhere. No, I meant in your mind. Where are you? I went, um, I went, I want some dark in the uh, raven. Okay. And I want, uh, I still want the cobalt. You're welcome, Miriam. And I want some of the Light and green pale. I didn't put any on the raven, but it will turn up on the raven, no problem at all. That's the way I'm going to rear it on. Ooh. Are you going to keep what? Sometimes if you, oh, too late. What? Well, sometimes I watch you brayer or pee even. If you just go in one direction, the the way it lines up is just awesome. When you yeah, too late. When you brayer in all different directions, that when I do it, I get mud. Well, it depends on what colors you've got on there. I mean, I I, I'd be more careful when I've got... Uh, or uh, mud producing colors. Too many things I have to remember each time. It's like, make sure your colors are, the paints are correct. Make sure the colors are correct. Make sure you brayer this way. It's like, what? Wait, what? I just want to throw paint down and push it around. Hmm. Well, so long as you're having fun, why not? Yeah. Why not do that? That's the point, I think. I mean, learning is all very well, but having fun is much yeah. the best way. I mean, if you can, if you can be having fun and you create, money, you don't care. Well, why not? You know, so mud can be marks, useful. Your skull marks on this one come show up on the paper. I don't know about uh, when they pull, but they do show up better, and so do your teeth marks. So we'll, I want to see how they. Show up on the pool. I just had to cut that one. Yeah. So I've run out of ready cut ones. I'm going to use the half size ones for the big plate. Yeah. So. Let's see. Like that's it. a bit smooshy. Yeah, it's a bit smooshy. The teeth didn't come out so well. I oh, can see them. But I can see them. Only on one of the skulls, and the other one's a bit squishy. And I could see the skull mark. Yeah, and I think, well, that one turned out better with the open orifices. Yeah. So I think I will do that. I will turn the, make the teeth more evident and the lines in the skull more evident. And we'll see. Yep. The same reason I love Amsterdam, Paula, because of you. You can also use these pebeo colors, but you need to use them with other pebeo colors or other heavy body. You, it, it's not a good idea to use them with high flow, I've found. I, I, as I say, I just get blobs of the higher viscosity or heavier body paints. And I get um, the rest of it mixes nicely and that doesn't so much. But if I've got that and that and say, This one that I'm trying to grab. Say I've got those down. Okay. Or those two down. Let's try those two together. All right, show us. Cobalt you... violet. Yeah. So the violet is a, a heavy body? Yep, that's a heavy body golden. All right, so no selling. It's a heavy body. And then the pebeo mm -hmm. is a high vis viscosity. So. Yes, which means oh, much the same thing as far as I can figure. Yeah. So. Oh, you moved it. Yeah, I moved it back again. I know it's moved. Yeah, I saw that. 
Uh, Hopefully. It will work. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's another thing that can happen. <laughs> Quite wet. I don't remember. It, well, there you go. No, oh, they all moved, didn't they? Wow. They all moved. They all had a holiday. Heavy body. Yeah. Quite slickery. It is quite sticky, yes. Yeah. I'm loving my fingers as well now. And you would I'm think... trying to keep back correct so I can watch what's going on. Oh, and you could you would think that these stencils would be well seasoned already. I know, but no, obviously not. Yeah. So that they wouldn't do that. Yeah, but they did. I love the color. So those are mixing better, but as you can see, I've got to be more careful because of the stencils coming up. Whoa. Well, but the main thing is mixing the colors. Now, now you can see that there, there's no blobs, there's which no, I would have had if I'd used this with a high flow. I would have which, had a blob. Which after you pull this, I'd like to see you move it with, use it with the high flow. Yeah, will do. Okay. I will show you what I mean. Yeah. Because you say no blobs and I'm... So this takes longer to dry. Okay. As well. So you don't pull it immediately. You've got more time to press and get your impression. As you can see, I'm getting a decent impression. So high flow is also wetter? Yes, because it's more liquid when you when you feel it. I mean, it is. It's liquid. You can't do that with that. It's it's like a toothpaste. Or as you call it, hand cream. Okay, so you have heavy body on the plate. Yep, heavy body and high viscosity. Okay. So, so what? Well, yeah. So it's less liquid, but it takes longer to dry. Yeah, so I've got a bit of time. So I'm going to cut these up because I'll need this size plate while I'm waiting. So gives me a chance to do this. Okay, I have to, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm sitting here asking myself, are you going to remember she said this? Are you going to retain this? Well, duh, get out the notebook and write it down. Yeah. Then we oh, know. You can title Monday Maculations and go back to it. Yeah. I always put the dates down. Uh-huh. So let's pull this up. I'm just going to have a little sneak look at this. Wouldn't it be nice if the pieces came up that dark on the skulls? Now, there's a way to do that. That would need another plate. We could have a go with that, you know. That would be fun. Uh-oh. Yeah, that, that needs a clean now. It's got paper on it. So this is the living, and it doesn't like the heavy body so much. There you go. Look at that. It's torn like mad. It does not like the heavy body. Wow. It was the living. So pretty sure it was the living. Well, we got the – and, and I know you won't throw those papers away, but we got the – There's not much out. left. There isn't oh. much left, you know. Fran, if you save the silly trinkets from the bottle tops, then you can save <laughs> papers. Yeah, I can. Yeah. <laughs> but there's a lot of mess on here now. Right, Evie. So, I flow can be used in an airbrush or with a pen. That's what we were talking about Friday. That's, yep. where, that's where I was going down. So... 
high flow by itself will not work with this new uh, rice paper. So don't ruin your rice paper by leaving it on there too long to do that. It, it does not, that new paper does not hold up well to wet. Do you I, think that was the new paper? I think it was the living. Was it the living? I think it was because it had the fold in the middle. Oh. Well, I know what it I read not... about the new paper said. It really doesn't hold up well to wet. So maybe it was that one then. Maybe I picked up the wrong one. Well, the only way to do it is to get a piece of the living that I know is the living and uh, try again. Okay. But I need something to, to peel this paper off. Otherwise, I'm just going to have a ruination. So somewhere I should have some wipes. I'll tell you what. Can you show something while I go and wash these stencils? Because I'm going to oh. have to. Well, I'll figure something out. Yeah. I, yeah. I'll, I'll, come, I'll take care of it. Um, okay. That one's all right. That one's yeah. okay. But the others are all. I mean, there's some nice print on there. But, yeah. There you I, go. You're up. My, uh, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Everything I'm working on is over there at the dining room table. Oh, I did make these. If anybody likes doing beading. I, I uh, go to, to Defy, which is Disabled Artist Foundation. And Lover knows what I mean. And I purchased a uh, a bag of beads. This was quite a few months ago. This bag was stuffed full of beads. All these beautiful beads. Look at that. I'm gorgeous. And I sat down the other day and made a couple stretchy bracelets out of them. There's one thing. I don't have much to show. All my stuff is over there. I'm just sitting here waiting for the delivery guy. Hmm. I think I showed you my least, my last crochet object, which was that. Hmm. What else? Which I'm going to, I think I'm going to tea dye this. What else? What else? What else? I don't have much going on. We could turn you on to a book, the NASA, NASA astronauts photograph the Earth. How about a book? Do not buy the book. I picked the book up for like 75 cents at a thrift store. It's got some awesome images in it, though. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Here we go. Let's see. That one. Wow. And we have these. Don't these inspire you? Don't you want to get your gel plate out and create some images like this? That's what I had in mind when I when I uh, picked it up. Pick the book up. Look at that. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That is Hong Kong and Macau. Beautiful. And that is Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula. I'm butchering the words, I'm sure. Right, Miriam? Gel plate. Gel plate. I love to look at this and look for color combos, you know, that I could replicate. Not necess doesn't have to be the uh, the design or whatever, but the color combos is where I get ideas from. Look at that one. <gasps> Look at this one. Wow. That one. Fran could do these. Fran could do, do those just like that. Look at that one. Whew. Wow. That one, not so much. That one I like. Hmm. 
That one I like. What do you think of that one? And look at this one. Look at that one. This one makes me think deliberate collage. Not gel plate, but deliberate collage. Oh, that one's okay. Here we go. It's going to be pullable. That one. Ooh. Then there's this one. Look at that one. I can't even get it in the screen all the way. It's a beautiful it book. But, and it's big and heavy. Ooh. Look at that. Images, Fran. I forgot to show you. They're, they're uh, NASA images, and they inspire me with um, gel plate colors and ideas. I love this Wonderful. one. This yeah. one reminds me of Chanel. Yeah. Captain what, and Chanel. Chanel number five? <laughs> what? Chanel number five, the perfume. Yeah, not that Chanel. Look at that. What Chanel? Captain and Chanel. I don't, I don't. I don't know any other Chanel. Look at that one. They're just, they're just gorgeous. You missed the ones back here. Look at these two. Ooh. Rivers. Um, those are actually, let's see if they identify them. Let's see. The Mekong Delta and the Sitang River Delta. So, yes, they are oh. rivers. Isn't that something? Oh, Earth pictures. Yes. I thought there were moons or something because you get lovely pictures of Mars sometimes. NASA astronauts photographed the Earth. So our astronauts up there looked down and took these pictures. Mm. So I might get a decent print of that. Okay, let me let me get off screen. Thank huh? you, everyone. Well, no, no, no. Oh, I was watching. Oh. Too late. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, I was watching that. So I managed to, to clean the stencils. And um, I had to clean my hands as well, because when it went like that, there's just little bits everywhere. <laughs> I know, Sandy. I know it's the captain and Tennille, but I was funning with her. She didn't get it, so it's okay. No, I didn't understand it at all, because I've only ever heard of Chanel number no. 5, so I've got no idea. It, it was a play on words. I was punning around with uh, her. See. Right. Um. We, I thought it was this this intelligent person who'd taken lovely pictures, somebody called Chanel. <laughs> no, it was a picture that was ribbed, and it reminded me of the fabric Chanel. Ch Chanel, you know, so that's where that Chanel? Chanel, there you go, Captain and Chanel. 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 Huh? Oh, there you go. There's Chanel is a <laughs> Where's the heart? It's Monday. I was lost on that one. I'm sorry. Spoilt it for you. <laughs> it's okay. Mar Miriam, sometimes when we do gel plating, Fran will pull an image when she's not so intense on stencils. She'll pull an image, and I'm like, that's outer space. That is mad scientist outer space. And from there, we get mm -hmm. her. She creates stencils of planets and uh, moons and, and other things. Pluto is one of her favorites because Saturn. Pluto got yeah, yeah. Yes. one of my favorites. Yep. It got demoted by a load of scientists who didn't know any better. <laughs> and it's created a Ferrari ever since. Yep. I would much rather have 1,100 more planets discovered in the Kuiper Belt than have Pluto demoted. I think it's much more exciting to have more planets. Calling it a dwarf planet just because it's a bit smaller. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you know, don't want to. I mean, Ceres could be a planet. And that other one beginning with an E that I can't remember the name of. That is an X size down from uh, Pluto. Anyway, 
As I was saying, I may get a print off this despite the smushing around of the poor old raven and the uh, Saturn. Is it dry? No, it's not. So it will have to sit and dry. Oh, it's it's extremely mushy. You can see it is. I so, won't even attempt to figure on it. So well, maybe two things could occur here that would change that. One, if you used less paint, which that's not yeah. going to happen. Um, but, or if uh, you, yeah. I think this is... See, it's not dry. It's not dry. Yeah, because there's so much. So, paint it on needs there. To dry. so right. we'll leave that. I'm going to take another plate. I've got some down here, so it's not difficult. Well, and, and the other thing was I was going to say that is. registration I was talking about. It's not registration, that, that image I wanted to make. Sorry, yes, go ahead. Is we know how to uh, kiss the plate to help it dry faster, but I didn't know if you wanted to do that in this case. No. No, I was practicing with the gooey. We were going to do the same thing with some of this and the high flow to show you. Yeah. I'll do that first. Then I'll do what I was going to do with this other plate. All right. Okay. So we're gonna, this is an old plate. It's got we're bits gonna, on it. We're going to do a mix of the high flow and heavy body together, which we yep. have, which we're saying the is. High -vis yeah, you're not going to like what you do. You're going to get globbers. No, I, I've, often, I've often wanted to use this with the high flow because it's a lovely color. It's uh, iridescent blue-green, and I would love to be able to use it with the high flow. But okay. I can't because of I, what I will demonstrate now. Okay. So it, it won't work so badly uh, on the first layer, so I'll do it on the next layer. Okay. So we'll start with Payne's Gray. Why not? So we can see what's going on. Okay. And we'll do a bit of so get it light enough to see. So we'll do a bit of this as well. Yes, here comes Mr. Blobby. That's what Paula said. Blobby. Yep, here comes Mr. Blobby. Let me move this one out of the way because I should use that in a moment. Okay, Mariah. Drive safe, whoever's driving. And we'll see you later. Bye bye, Mariah. Don't want to get that mixed up in anything. So let's put some stuff down. Let's put the ones we were playing with down again. Do you have to go now to Trish? Is is that you saying goodbye to us or you say goodbye to Mariah? I hope you're feeling better. It's a good day for you. There so, we yeah. go. I don't so I don't we'll lift this up. You're right. There's no selling. First lift. I'm not going to get much. A little bit here and there. Some of these, the skulls, when I was um, cleaning them, I got quite a lot off, so it's almost down to bare Tyvek. Okay, Abby. That's a rather nice print, though, even though it's just a pale thing. And I could do what I want with that, with the dark stuff. Lovely, lovely. We'll get another piece ready. When I do this with, um, we'll do the Payne's Grey again. Okay. And we'll do the, this. And you'll see what I mean. All right. 
Now, I'm spreading it around in the hopes that it will amalgamate a bit better, but it doesn't usually. Oh, I'm hoping they don't make a layer out of you. <laughs> yeah, well, so am I, but... Because uh, you wanted to put these good. two colors together. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't spread so well. It, it remains blobby underneath. I mean, I'm trying to spread it here. But I think it's going to remain quite blobby. And that's not an effect that you want. It's not one it's not one I like all that much, no. Okay. It's not one I'm I'm wildly fond of. But this is looking not too bad actually at the moment. So we we'll well, make a liar out of me. Here's my thought, and I just showed those images that are tweaking my my brain process. <clears throat> yeah. Um, if you know it's going to do that when you mix the two, then you have it a could better be an idea. Occasion to use it. Yeah, make it work for you. Exactly. You could use that effect to your advantage on something. I yeah. can't quite figure what I might use it for, but yeah, well, you could. You need to sit here and look at my book of, of astronaut images. Yeah. Yeah, you can sort of see what I mean, but it's blended uh, fairly well. I did use a lot of the um, Payne's Grey, but you can see that there is some isolated colour of this. Yeah. It's not blended in as well as it could have done. Yeah. It, but normally, it, I, I use quite a lot of the um, quite a lot of the high flow and a little bit of this because I want that colour, and that is when it doesn't work so well. But that's usually on a bigger plate. So using using a fairish amount of this and a little bit of the Payne's Gray seems to have worked a bit better. But still, I've got isolated blobs of color. But it's it's blended a bit better than I expected it to. So that's good to know. So it's a good idea to try things. Mm -hmm. So let's have a go with quite a bit of this color. And I'll just have a couple of blobs of that. And we'll see what happens. So the, op I'm... So the opposite of what you just did. So I'm going to have a bit of that, and I'll add another colour. <laughs> Let's add this as right, well. Right, I do, Evie. Um, what's Paula saying? Paula's saying maybe if you put the pabeo down in lines, streaks, instead of blobs. Maybe, maybe. Well, let's do that. We'll put it at, at the top and see what happens. There you go. Well, there are a lot. So I seem to put one at the bottom as well. Uh -huh. Please, good idea, Paula. Let's, let's let Fran experiment. Yeah, in case it doesn't work. <laughs> now, I would, have, I would have liked to have seen you done that streak in the middle to see if it would blend, because up at the top, it really doesn't have much to blend with, does it? Except now. So we shall see. Well, let's see what happens. Hang on, I seem to have caught my lead. Thank you. I've got it right. Right, let's try. Oh, I just had a brain thought. I'm, you yeah. know, you make honey. <laughs> I do have them on occasion, honey. Um, you can imagine he's sitting behind me making like peanut gallery back there. Um, yeah. You know he's picking on me. Um, I I'm in the kitchen. I'm I'm in the kitchen a lot, cooking, baking, whatever. Mostly cooking these days, less baking. But it came to mind. You're making. Um, Christmas cookies. So we make colored Christmas cookies. We put different or icing. But oh, hoo, 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 hoo. it's rather nice, but you can see how it's not mixing so well, can't you? I mean, it's staying more or less where I put it, I even know. though it's a blob down that state. And I tried to mix it more, it doesn't mix so well. So if you've got the same consistency of paint down, it mixes better than if you've got a light one like a liquidy one like the high flow and a cream one like the pabeo high viscosity like 
I really like but that. I'm, and Parliament, I'm, Parliament in I'm, lines or streaks, putting the paint down in a line or strength, she meant for making orbit prints, not with stencils on the plate. What so, are orbit prints? Well, I'll let you know when she responds what she meant by that. Um, but anyway, you make you use your food coloring to make different colored dough, right? Icing to make different color frosting, icing for your cake, right? <laughs> if you don't, uh -huh. if it's... Thank you, Evie. She already knows where I'm going with my thought. There, There's a... If you don't mix it well, you get the blobs. Yep. If well, it's... I'm going to use this one. Yeah, I get blobs. Keep going. I'm listening. Well, I was trying to think if the if the food coloring that you use is because it's a lighter, much wetter, lighter weight than the dough. Oh, she wants you to. Oh, all right. Let's let's go back. This is all gold. Try that first. I'm still thinking it's all it out. Gold. Marbling. Yeah, it really does come out like marbling, doesn't it? Okay, Evie knows where I'm going. We're on the same page. We're eating the same goodies. <laughs> like these, Paula? Or was there a more specific one that you want me, that you're identifying more? Look at that one. She meant the orbit, um, the space the, pictures. The, the, the space pictures, yeah, from orbit. Yes, I see. Yeah. Gotcha. She meant something like that. Like, check out that one, Fran. Look at that one. Ooh, yes. Lovely. I wish I could now, send. These I keep coming off. So I'm stopping blending it. I mean, you can see I've got a blob there and I can't get rid of it because it's just, everything's so sticky. Try to find one that, I think that red one did it best. Now there's that giant one. That's on two pages. I couldn't even get it to fill the screen. Wow. Well, there's a, a way to fill the screen. Yeah. I mean, I, go. I, I look at it. For, look at the color combos on there and the way they're placed. So they're place specific. Well, yeah. this isn't a painting. So, yeah. Um, so this would be more like controlling that uh, heavy What box. is that a view of? Is that just a nebula? Or, no, or what? That one is looking down on Kuwait, and Ooh. it says the after the aftermath of, of the Gulf storm? War. So this oh. is a, this is an Earth picture. This is not a space picture. Wow. But I mean, this is a case where it didn't. They they lobbied up these paint. If these were paint. They blobbied up, whereas here, maybe they blended a little bit right here. But here, uh -huh. it blobbered up. Problem. Wonder if you could, like, we were talking about controlling, if you know that heavy body mixing with high flow does that, then you control how it does it. Uh, it's sticking again. It's stuck. It's tearing. This is definitely the living paper. It's tearing. So I think it's better. The living paper is better for high flow, thin paints. Look, it's just tearing. Oh. Oh, well. Yeah, and you didn't leave it set over for that long. No, I didn't. I think it's because it's, it's so thick that it soaks a lot in. And I gotta so, go and wash the stencils again. <laughs> so whether it's whether it's um, 
I was going to say, you stay on. Yeah, I'll come you back. Stay. I'll come back. So whether it's, uh, it doesn't matter which one it is, if it's the rice paper, it's um, it just can't handle that much wet. Yeah. So I, I would do the same thing, but with a sturdier paper. Yeah. I can probably get this off in here. I might not need to go anywhere. But it's easier. It's quicker doing it with the water. I'll be back with in a one. tick. Okay. So much easier just scrubbing it with a little um, brush. So you come back to sew the layout. There you go. <clears throat> but it gives ideas, right? Some of these are are orbit pictures, like you said, Paula. They were they're pictures of I love that one of out in orbit, like this one. And then some are Earth pictures. So this is all Africa. All of these are from Africa. Look at that one. Look at the colors. Holy cow, smokes. I love that. Oh, my gosh. Look at that one. Now, if you look at this one, the bright color is down below, and then it gradiates up to the dark color. If this were Sharon, if this were Texture Junkie's uh, picture, she would actually say the dark color should be at the bottom. But somehow I look at that. And I think it does work better with the dark color at the top. Ooh. Imagine, take away the, the this must be part of the uh, spaceship. So take this away and just look at that. Ooh, is that pretty? And that's a case where you would control the blobbies, right? Not so much there. Oh, this is a good one. I think this is not, if this is looking down on Africa, I don't think this is part of this. I think that's part, like an arm off the spaceship. But I like that otherwise. And I wouldn't have I wouldn't have thought to put those colors together. Oh Oop. don't do that. Oh, you're back. Okay. Well, kinda, yeah. <laughs> kinda, yeah. <sighs> yeah, okay? I'm back, I'm back. Well, we're we're so, into two hours, dear. So everything now is 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 uh, over your usual. I want. I just want to do one thing. Okay. With plate on the side. You can do. And it. one of the other prints we've done already. I want to do something. Just want to see if it's going to work. We're doing more experiments. I mean, these latest experiments haven't been going so well. So let's try another one. <laughs> oh, there you go, Paula. Did I help any for the next color challenge? Any of those pages I showed you? This is going to sit sideways. Okay. Down and up and dry. Sideways. Well, down there. Now, remember this one. We didn't get an enormous amount of definition out of these. Right. And uh, what else was there? There was this one, too. And I quite like the idea of getting a bit more definition in them. So we'll do that one first. And I would like... <clears throat> we've got this one goes there, right? Okay. That's that one. So we use that one. Okay. And for there... That's a brand new one. It's not the one... Oh, it's probably one of the ones I've just washed. OK. 
could just use that one anyway. You like blue and terracotta, Evie? You like that challenge? Definitely wasn't that one. Did you lose it? I think I might have misplaced it somewhere. Take the paper <clears> up. <throat> it's stuck. It's stuck to something. Yeah. Yeah, well, very likely, since stuff has been sticking to things like mad at the moment. There we go. There's the other one. There you go. So we've got that one and that one. And we've got him. It's him. Or it might have been him. No, I think it must have been that one. It's a bit bigger. Slipped about on the plate a bit. Oh, and yeah. we've got... Uh, and we've got... We've got there we are. Yeah, him. Right, Am I, I'm sorry. I won't be a second. Yep. There you go. Move these out of the way. That's good. That's GE. Good enough. And then we've got... This one. Where's your spiral and little skull? Yeah, spiral and little skull. There's, There's your a little skull. There they are. Oh, big. As the spiral. <clears throat> you sure that was too big? Yes, it was too Can big. They move? Oh yeah, I did. Okay. <clears throat> I did uh, three sizes, and it's one of the little ones. That's oh, the bigger one still. Yeah, there you go, Paula. Make a gel print from space looking down on Earth. There you go. I was going to look on the Here we go. Here we there we are. I believe. So, what I'm going to do <clears throat> is do some individual printing. So I'm going to take this one to start. We'll try that because it's the most solid one. If this works, it's to be hoped the others might work as well. We'll see. But I'd certainly like to do the three skulls. So we'll start with those three. And we'll take the thing of me push off here, the cellophane that I've been keeping on the top. Make sure you don't try and do it without that. And... We'll see what we can get. <clears throat> now, I want to do Payne's Grey on one of them. Or should I do something a bit more startling like um, fluorescent violet? It might go better with it, fluorescent violet. Let's try fluorescent violet. Okay, let's try fluorescent violet. I agree. Yep. Oh, wrong side. That side. Thank you, everyone, for hanging in with us. <sighs> You. Don't do what I do, do what I say. <laughs> right, I've got it all over that side. I've got it all over the other side as well, but there we go. Now, grab a little, if I can find one. There's one right in front of me, that one. There we are. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I can do one in a different colour or the same colour. If I had a softer... Softer. It's a slightly softer roller than that one. That was my dad's, that one. So I can do the same one again using the other side like that. Pick up colour. Pop it on there. Can you see what I'm doing? You can't see what I'm doing, can you? <clears throat> I am putting colour on top of here, like this. Oh. Just got to open the thing. Just got to be on the reverse of what you can see down here. Okay, Abby. And then put that down, turning it over as you place it. 
And I will roll her off as much of this as I can so that I don't get it on anywhere else. And a quick roll over. And there you go. That's rather nice. Okay. And we're doing another one, and I'm going to uh, change the colour up a bit. I'm going to put some more of this on, which is the cobalt turquoise. <clears throat> Bye, Evie. <coughs> I can either do it like this, rollering it onto there, and get your thing the same way up and put it on to pick up the stuff. Like that. Or you can do it the way I've just done the other two. But you do need to brayer it on. I usually keep a another brayer when I'm doing this that uh, isn't already gooey. I've got another brayer. There we are. Oh, that's a terrible messy brayer. I don't want that one. <laughs> mm. Well, it's like it's picked up a load of fluff or something. I can use a small one. This is the smaller pieces. I can use one like that. So we'll do that chappy up there now. So we'll get him. And we'll do him in... Of course, <coughs> I've now got a load of colour on there. So what I will do, I'll take another sheet... And I will absorb as much of that colour as I can. Clean the plate. There we are. Gives me some nice varied smushiness. Yeah, not bad. What colour should I do him? Well, he's an alien, so let's do him. <clears throat> I wish I had one of my new colours I'd ordered. I haven't. But there we go. I can use a bit of that with it. Goose turd green? Mm, maybe. I wasn't thinking that, though. I was thinking cobalt turquoise. Oh, I see what you're doing over there. Mm-hmm. I'm mixing so then I can put uh, color on him. And place him as carefully as I can. Yep, so I've got my hands all over his face, which is not the right thing to do at all. Quite wet. There you go. That brayer worked. Yeah. There we go. That's not bad at all. There we go. And perhaps add a little bit of a uh, little bit of burnt sienna to that. Whoops. Of course, you can expect some spots. I certainly got some. <laughs> Hang on, I've got an issue up here. Yeah, Let's yeah. get rid of that. Well, Paula says red. <laughs> oh, no. Paint. Graham said red. Well, I've used a bit of burnt sienna there. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's quite the colour I wanted. So let's add a bit of this to it as well. See what happens with that. And we'll get the owl. <clears throat> we'll get some interesting colours in the owl. And then we'll pop him down. So the moral of today's story, the lesson to be learned is don't think you can't. Keep trying. Keep learning. Yep. And if you think it, 
didn't work last time and you want to demonstrate that, <laughs> beware, because it might work this time. <laughs> it might work. All the right, all the right elements. I might like that. Right. I like that too. I like that. I'm going to use some of the same color on the twirly whirl. Or as Fran has taught me, it may not turn out the way you originally wanted, but you'll come out with something just as good or better. Yep, exactly. That's so just the best it. thing. Right. Don't say you can't. Say you're done. You could say you're done. Say you can try. But Don't yeah. say you can't. Say you can try. Yeah. And when you don't expect anything, I think that's the biggest thing. Don't expect, because half the time I expect things, and when they come up, it's like, oh, well, what I expected. Do you dislike it? No. Nope. Well, no. Well, that's the best thing then, isn't it? So I think that's pretty decent, and I really like the way the colours melded on the owl. I think that's wonderful. In fact, I might do that again. A little bit more of that. We have we have uh, quite a quite a lot of past video streams where you didn't get what you wanted and you were still happy. Yeah, quite a so lot. I'll, I'll get that one. Yep. And then I'll get that bit on, and we'll see what we get. Putting them over there because that's a bare sheet of bit of the paper. Just pressing him down to get a nice impression. Yes, I like it. I like that. That's rather nice. He's lovely. He would be very nice in... Oh, isn't he lovely? I would really like that. That would go really nicely on a collage of some sort. Mm -hmm. On a journal, perhaps. A wise owl journal. It's quite a bit <laughs> off screen. Is it? Oh, sorry. There you go. Perhaps I should do a wise owl journal. Oh. You know, don't expect anything. Yeah, you'd get the cover done and you'd be done. Yeah, true. There we go. <laughs> but it's still all right. That bit that was missing is there. Look at that. I like that. I really, really like it. I'm thinking that colour is wonderful for an owl. That's a mixture of a murkiest green I've ever seen and fluorescent violet. Really brought it back, that. And that was, I think, using benzimidazolone and uh, cobalt turquoise. Thank you, Colleen, for being here. We appreciate you guys when you come oh. put up with us and our shenanigans. Yeah. Face turquoise covering eyes. Hmm. Did you say so, Miriam? Not entirely sure what that means, but yeah, could be. So I used benzimidazolone and cobalt turquoise to make muck green and then added fluorescent violet and didn't brew it in too much to still have patches of the violet showing. Okay, and let me let me explain something uh, here, Fran. Yes. What what Miriam said is green is a cliche, and then she used one of the new YouTube emoticons, one of the new little thingies, emojis, whatever they call it, and it's a it's a face, and it's a turquoise covering color, and it's covering its eyes like peeking out at the, the what you just did. You have to see it. Okay. So you okay. you're reading it in Streamyard, but I can I'm see it in YouTube. Yeah. Uh, okay. So it's lost her interpretation there. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's really what I wanted to try. I was going to do it in black on another one, but it didn't turn out that way. I think there was a paler one somewhere, like like maybe this one. Okay, but it's Colleen. so pale, it's not. Bye, Colleen. Thank you for being here. I'm having pain's fun great. today. Do, 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 do. We are having fun. Tra la 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 la. What do you got there? Using a computer block, you see, so that I can pop that down there like that. Uh, 
and just get that covered and then pop it down on there. What color did you put down? Paints gray. All right. Paints gray. Yeah. You going to do them all like that? Don't know. Depends on how this one turns out. That's nice. I like Ooh. that. I, think I might do another one like that with the other one. Not that one. It's got two uh, empty eyes. One with two empty eyes, please. Oh, that's got eyes. One with empty eyes. Come back to mummy. Hi, Dana. Again. Yes, thank you for being here. Hi, Dana. Has she been and gone and come back again? No, she was just, um, she came in and I said hello, but she's been quiet over there in her little oh. space. So she's she's saying lovely stream today, ladies. So I, I suspect that's her goodbye. <laughs> Time to go. Okay. Well, I can't find the other one. I'm going to stand up and find it so I can see what I'm doing. Are you sitting on it? Hopefully. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> Where'd it go? It would be unfortunate. Oh, or maybe it's up here. Ah, there we go. There it is. It was up there. Oh. Okay, so I will put some more down on here. Ah, paint's grey. I think I will do paint's grey. We'll do the skulls in the paint's grey. Mm -hmm. It was used something else for the chick. I can do the raven in the paint's grey as well. Mm-hmm. Nicolay's a gold. For the raven? For the chick. Could do. It's not a bad suggestion, actually. Yeah, could do. Could do benzimidazolone. Mm, oh, yeah, that's not a bad idea either. Oh, that one came out nice. Look at that. Yeah, that's oh, not yeah. bad at all. It's practically got shadows. It does pick up some colour when you're using what you think is a nice uh, clean one. And then it isn't. Yep, that's the one. Nevermore, nevermore. Quoth the raven. So I'm going to call him Quoth. Quoth? Hmm. Quoth, yeah. He's a, he's a goth Quoth. Right, Saturn. Well, we can do Saturn in different colors, can't we? Saturn should be like iridescent red. You think? Could except, do. Except it won't. Except I haven't got out. iridescent red. It, it really won't stand out well on that plate uh, maybe the uh fluorescent, fluorescent violet, violet. Yeah. yeah Um, that way around. That's the way. And it's going to go well with that Payne's Gray over there, even though. I hope so. Yeah. Not so much on there. Maybe I should try again. 
Just a bit more up. Is everyone okay if I set the view from space gel pull challenge tomorrow? I I don't do challenges. I so I'm great with that. <laughs> I don't do challenges either. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> so whoever anyone that does if a I, challenge if I, today. Say, if I do do a challenge, it's sort of like in an offhand manner without yeah, actually no. really following everything and just doing what it inspires me to think of, which is not necessarily what anybody else is doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do that. I'm, I'm, I'd love to see what comes up, Paula. I do like space challenges though. I mean, you can get some marvelous stuff. Yes. View from space. Okay. So. Oh, that's view of earth. You mean that's different. Okay, it's late there. Miriam's got to go to bed. Thank you for being here, dear. We'll see you. you we'll see Bye. you in the on Thursday. Thursday, yeah. Or we call it experiment inspired. Yeah, would you say view from space or view of space or both? In I a, do view of space myself, but well, uh, but I don't know. Rather... I, there's some really good Earth pictures. Um, in my book there. So either way would be nice. See if that'll go on there. It looks so transparent. I wasn't sure it would. Oh, it came oh, out. Not too bit. bad. Not too not bad. Not too bad at all. That's no, okay. it's just left the. Uh, let me put some of that with that. I'll make a bit of mud. There you go. Put some fluorescent violet in there and see what you get. Mud mostly. Earth from space inspired. That sounds good. Oh, Lisa, I'm sorry. Yeah, you come back. We'll or or we'll be back another time more stuff we appreciate that you tried to be here she has a migraine oh yeah you'll go and sit in a nice cool dark place and a warm dark place even and just chill and try and get to sleep that's what i do because some sometimes people have such terrible headaches they can't but the cool and the dark can help yeah there we go so that's there what i wanted to do just to see if i could and I could, yep. and I did, and there you go. There Lovely. You go. I know like this, about it. I'm going to pop down here and see if I can pull that colour up. <laughs> like a print. Yeah, why not? There you go. I'll just clear that off now. That's it, I'm afraid. I've got a, a book to show you. Well, not a book, a, a magazine, as I said. Hang on a sec, and I'll go and get it. Okay. It's only over here. Sorry. Shan't be going far. I don't want to twist my chair and ruin my husband's thing as well as mine. Yeah, don't that break those good. headphones. There we go. I want to ruin his headset and he's just lent it to me. <laughs> now then. We'll get these out of the way because we don't want to get ink on it. And we will take this nice one over the other way. And then we'll put this down. This is my last issue. I, I went and bought three. <gasps> because when um, last year, when P, what was that? Uh-oh, you hit something and froze. Yeah. There we are. Last year, when P was showing us her issue with Veranda, it was so wonderful, I went and found it. And I managed to get three issues. And this is my last one. I have shown you the second one I got last time, but this arrived this morning. Mm -hmm. And it's got some rather nice things in it. Um, but I'm not impressed enough with it to continue on, because it was quite expensive yeah. to get three issues of it. 
But it's got some inspiring things in it, I think. I just want to get that little one out of there. I think it's got some quite inspiring things in it. We'll see if I can find the one I, I liked so much. I quite like that. These guys, Bivolo of New Orleans, making uh, electric lamps. Interesting. But, uh, and I like those I like using those. bell jars. Yeah. Yes. I quite like these lanterns. These are rather nice as well, aren't they? That one's actually got uh, an angle joint in it. Rose I like has, them. This is a black, black gooseneck lamp up on its nightstand. It's so cool. Yeah. Love that. Someone else using an old lantern again? Yeah. I'm not overly impressed with much of this, but there was something. I might have actually missed it. It might have been at the earlier stage, but we'll keep going. There's some nice things in here. Don't mind that at all. I quite like that too. Yeah, the exuberant aristocrat. Bit of jewellery. <laughs> some rather nice um, antiques. That's not too bad. I quite like that, that colour. With yeah, the yellow and the pale gray. I wouldn't. No, yeah, I wouldn't have that. I would go to get dressed and be depressed. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I like. I find it relaxing. Or, or I can't and find I, anything, and there's a spider hidden in there, and it's like, nope, 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 nope. I like. I like <laughs> yeah, I like yeah. I'm with you on that one. I'm with you on that one. I love that though. That really nice purple. What would you call it? A sofa or a? I would call I it. Well, it's in long. the old days they called them Davenport or a Chase. Davenport. Or, um, I think it was Chase only long. Chase if it was like a one-person laydown type thing. Like yes, that. yeah. You would have got the um, headpiece at the other up yeah. one side. I always wanted nice. one of those. That's nice. Keep coilware reborn. That's really rather nice. And I like this graffito. That's rather rather lovely, actually. Carved in, you know, to reveal the colour beneath. Like that. It's all rather nice, but uh, that's that's quite... I like the library, but it looks completely unread. It looks like wallpaper. I'd prefer a proper library. <clears throat> yeah, but it's not big enough. <laughs> Don't tell my <laughs> yes, I think I've, I've gone past it. I think it's well past. I love that, and I like this house. This lovely house made of um, it, this it large like slab. Italian. Yeah, it looks Italian, yeah. but it's made of large slabs. See? Oh, yeah. I haven't been all the way through it. I like this. This was on the front, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. With this design. Mm -hmm. I love that way of showing plates. I'm not totally keen on the on the pale blues, but I can see that you'd need them with the dark blues to show it off properly. <coughs> hmm. I think that would be too enclosing for a bedroom. I would find that much too oppressive, especially with such low ceilings. Yeah, I agree. But if people like it, that's up to them. I like that little um, gazebo or whatever. Yes, uh, Chippendale style railings wrap a domed garden gazebo. I like, yeah, I like the top. I like the dome of it. Yeah, I do. Oh, and there's a nice chaise long. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah. 
I've missed the first few pages, I think. I think that's where that was. That's a nice idea. <coughs> but are those real bushes? Is it going to shed? No more than the dog. Oh, yeah. <coughs> No, see, I'll tell you why I don't like those chairs. They have, the seat is carved for, is a bit carved or bowed, you know, for your butt to sit in. And mine never fit. Golden leather cantilever seating. Okay. <laughs> leather. So it well, might be a bit better. That's it, rather nice. It doesn't look leather. It looks. It doesn't, does it? It looks like carved wood. Yeah, because you said cantilevered, so it's like. I like that. Well, that's just the um. This that's cantilevered, mm, okay. so it's got some spring to it. Yeah, if you say so. And it is leather, so I think it would be more comfortable than it looks. <clears throat> I like that. I like the stairs. Yeah. Well, they're pink, but there we go. Wow. <clears throat> uh, the one I want to show you is definitely at the beginning. Let's go back to the beginning <clears throat> and find the pieces I missed. That is what I like. Now, I know it's pink, but it's a strong pink. And it's balanced by that lovely dark green. And look at the gorgeous furniture. Absolutely lovely. I think that's really nice. This is by Dorothy Draper, 1925. Only because it's a big room, I think. Yes, with it would work in a small one. But yeah, I agree with that. It's still too much pink for me. Pink, yeah. Pink to be the theme. The green seems to be a complementary color. The pink yeah. is the theme, and that's too much for me. Yeah, I think it is a little much, but I like the the overall room. I think I would put a light, a pale beige or something carpet in, and I reckon that would be okay. And maybe one more in that color to balance. No, I'm not putting my tailbone on anything oh. that's pink. <laughs> well, if you sit on it with a, wearing a large flowy dress, you wouldn't see it at all. <laughs> I'd know it was there. I, I'd, have to, I'd have to get near it to sit in it, and that's when it would explode in my face. And it's like, ah, no, too much. I don't, yeah, I don't. I just missed it by one page. Look at that. Yep. But that I was the one I wanted. I just don't I love it. I like the architecture. And I like the mirror. It looks a little um, imperialist, but I do like it. I like the overall effect. I wouldn't want it myself, but I like the overall effect. Mm -hmm. But I would want the desk, the desk I love. <coughs> that is a beautiful desk. Nearly as nice as mine. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's desk, yes. There we are. That's all I've got to show for today. So that's it. We are done. Me and my little skull are all done. And for the last little hanger honors, thank you for staying with us. And yes, we'll thanks stay. for staying. We'll say, I'll bring my camera back. And we'll say thank you for being here and have a good day. And we will see you tomorrow in Makers or in PM Artist Studio Stream. Mm-hmm. Right. Okie dokie. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Here we go.